Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this war of mine. I'm right back into it from uh, just having closed off the last episode. It looks like uh, we're going into night 48. Looks like we'll only have one man on guard for tonight, which will be me. You will sleep. And Marin will scavenge, I guess. I don't think we've ever sent Marin to scavenge before. I'll take this and that. And see what is what is left to find in the looted gas station. We already know there's not a th not a threat, so I can just run to my heart's content. I wonder what's in the closet. It takes so many different tools to get there. I certainly hope it's something valuable. I mean. On the on the design level, I would assume there is, but this is not necessarily a game that follows each and every basic principle of game design, because it's about experiencing the war. And let's face it, even if a closet is hidden somewhere, it's not always going to contain good stuff. In this case, though, it most definitely is. That's all we need. Well, I think I already examined everything else, so I think that's about it for the looted gas station. Oh, right. Uh, someone buried someone here when we first visited. Man, I love all the little stories that go on. I mean, I might have missed that guy if it didn't go there early. Or maybe he just spawns when you visit there, whenever. Anyways, day 49, getting close to the, the big 5-0. Anton has returned. He didn't even bring a reward. Well, the important thing is that you helped a wounded man, Anton. That's the important thing. Have a bite to eat. Oh, it's cold here. Well, go sleep it off. She's still slightly wounded, so... Well, you will have to get up for a second to get some food. Seems like we've caught some more animals. We will set the trap again with some more fertilizer. Whoa, 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 you already got to eat. I'm sorry, but, you know, I already got to eat too. So, it's your turn, Marin. Oh, wait, who is there? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I think I know who this is. Are you who I think you are? You you wouldn't want to oh yeah she definitely does Hello there Well it's uh, it's Chavetta or Caveta or however you pronounce a name that starts with a C followed by a V Thank you for answering the door people tend to be so mistrustful of others nowadays I'm Caveta I used to be a principal of an elementary school. You're probably wondering what the reason of my visit could be. Well, honestly, I'm, not, I'm afraid to be alone in this dreadful situation. Would you mind if I sit with you? I can t take care of any children that might be with you. So. She's terminally ill. What? 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 Terminally... What? 
She just comes in here like, oh, hey, I just don't want to be alone in the war. Also, I'm terminally ill. Please, pills. Well, fine. We are not known for sending people in need away. That's kind of gross, though. Look at Marin. Marin is not impressed either. Also, I uh, I know it's it's completely like believable that you would run into people that you have like a useless talent in war, but loves children. Handyman, good mathematician, knack for electronics, sneaks quietly, loves children. Now. It's it's good to to bond easily with kids, you know? Especially if you're going to be a teacher. That's fine, but I mean in war well, you know. She's actually kind of self-aware about it, though. Oh dear, that is embarrassing. I know I'm not much of an asset in this terrible situation. I have good administrative and logistical skills, which won't be of any use given the circumstances. I'm told I'm a good caregiver. I really love kids. On the other hand, perhaps it's good they don't have to suffer here with us. What else? I have a driver's license. Sorry, that was my poor attempt at a joke. So that's Kaveta, pretty much. Nice lady, but... Not going to be useful. And this means we have an extra mouth to feed. Which means my... Uh, the plan I mentioned, that we may have to revisit the... Uh, the warehouse. That may have to become a necessity. But if I send myself and get killed, it's the end. It's game over. Game over, man. Game over. Man, I'm losing, I'm losing track of things. I should have sent Marin to bed way, way earlier. Now he's gonna be tired. Well. So she's too sick to even scavenge, so sleep. Guard, guard, sleep, sleep. Another stay at home night. Not because I want to, but because, well, that's the situation we're in. Yikes. Kaveta is still sick. Mm hmm. Indeed, I hope it's not contagious. I never thought about that, actually. I mean, it's actually... It might actually be possible that people get sick, too. That said, I just... I don't want to just kick her. I don't think... Ah, uh, well, you know, you can send them to their deaths, but... I'm not about that. I just hope she gets better. I mean... Oh, well, she has actually gotten better. I mean, she's still severely ill, but she was terminally ill before. Now, when you're terminally ill, you're pretty much at death's door. Unless you take pills or, in case of uh, terminally wounded, put on bandages. Well. Sleep, sleep, sleep. question is, should I give her more pills, or should I send her to the hospital tonight? That is the question. She's still slightly wounded. Oh, it is getting a bit chilly, yeah. 
Ugh, to think I was suggesting we might just uh, rush, uh, rush to the finish by skipping a few nights and now we're pretty much forced in that position by everyone being sick or tired or wounded. Just goes to show, having enough food does not equal being actually prepared. All oh, right, we have four beds. You can go rest too, Anton. Go ahead. That's why I forgot to send Marin to bed last time, because we have four beds now. He's just drinking a cup of coffee. He's not tired. I guess he wouldn't be if he was drinking coffee. Wonder if anyone will be at our door today. More freeloaders. I could take the risk of feeding her extra to try and fix it, but... Last thing I want is to, to waste food. Doesn't look like anyone will be at the door. <laughs> so I guess we'll skip to the night then. Time for night 50. This is a situation we have here. Sleep. Erika will sleep and Gavetta will sleep. Well, one of us can scavenge, I suppose. But do I really want to send Anton to the warehouse? Well, I sent Erica there. I mean, if I can send Erica, I can send him. Okay, but I'm gonna be extra careful. No funny business, so... Sleep. Sleep. Guard. Guard. Scavenge. Guard, guard. Sleep, sleep. Scavenge. And we'll go to the warehouse. We'll ensure he won't get... I, uh, although, I'm just uh, remembering. I actually gave her, like, a full set of armor. It's kind of amazing that she got severely wounded. I mean, if I hadn't been wearing that, she would probably just be insta-killed by a shot like that. That's a horrible thought. <coughs> Also, if Anton actually ends up dying, everyone is going to think I sent him to his death. That's going to suck. But truly, honestly, it is not my intention for him to die. Can't be the night that I could have done, done more to prevent it if it does happen, but... That is the case for everyone. Scavenging is always a risk in dangerous areas, so... Let's see, <clears throat> what I did last time was just run straight for him. Which I could do, I guess. Oh! Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't jump to conclusions. See, he's uh, he was harmed sp uh, very severely. He was almost killed by... Uh, he was almost killed by Erika, so he won't fight now. Because if I draw my knife, he's, uh, he's at my mercy, pretty much. You'll see, he has very little health left. He's basically terminally wounded. So, you know what? I'm gonna leave you alone, I'm just gonna steal your stuff. Looks like that visit was kind of fruitful in the long term. Although, if machine gun guy comes running, I will cry. I will probably not cry, but... Brilliant. Lots of weapon parts, food, bullets. We're out of here. Well, it's good to know that guy is out of commission for at least a few more days. 
so he won't fight. He may be patrolling, but he won't fight us, because a, a, you could basically just kill him with a single hit of anything. The cold days have passed? What? Hey, um, you see that snow? You see that snow? I think you're lying to me. Well, whether you're lying to me or not. Let's turn up the heat. It is time for food today, so... Everyone go grab a bite. Erika is no longer wounded. So happy to see you back on your feet. Go have some food. Marin can sleep. He's done his first scavenging a few nights ago, so now he's officially part of the gang. I gotta say, I didn't expect to have a group of five. I don't think I've ever had that before. Kind of hard to manage a group like that. Ah, our traps are... Uh Catching some delicious meat. Oh, hey, Franco. I find it kind of curious that the game was claiming the cold days have passed, though. Maybe it's the worst is over, is the, the implication here? Well, Anton... Uh, Anton? Anton Cavetta. <laughs> Cavetta will have to grab some food for herself. And I will sleep. Anton will eat also. Erica can answer the door then. We have some herbal medicine, which is useless in the face of actual disease, so... Hmm. Question is, do we go for food, or do we go from, for some additional pills for Caveta? I mean, we would. it would be best to uh, have everyone alive by the end, right? <laughs> yeah. Could buy lots of supplies, but right now, I just... Uh, we're so close to the end, I don't want anyone to die at this point. Yeah, that's about all we'll trade today. Oh, we don't have that much fuel left, actually. Well, you see this shiny assault rifle? Yeah, you know you want it. There you go. Good, excellent. Right, we bought some pills specially for you, so go and eat them already. Managing five people is difficult. Anton will sleep. You will sleep. Let's see what else there is. To answer that question, there is nothing else. Let's see here. We can revisit the, uh, the warehouse once more. Everyone is healthy except for Caveta, so... Guard. Well, Marin, you can sleep the night. Me and Anton will guard. We will scavenge. Sleep, sleep. Looks good. Again, no stupid risk taking. We'll take all the armor we uh, can take. Although wearing double won't work. I mean, if that guy is just gonna stand around, we have only one potential enemy. Although he is armed with, like, uh, uh, was it a shotgun or a machine gun? I don't recall. I think I might have been dead if it was a machine gun. 
because he like he shot he shot me with it like once and it didn't hurt that much so machine guns work work pretty well at the distance too but shotguns don't so I'm going to guess he was armed with a shotgun I could just look uh, I could just look for him and kill him outright but oh he's there he's up there He's reading a book. That's funny. <laughs> Look at him. He's he's scared already. Don't worry. Honestly, I'm glad we didn't kill him at least. Um Back when the game crashed, we actually like uh, stabbed him to death, which is kind of a shame. Hmm. Ah, fertilizer. That's good. Let's see what there is to find here. Any more good stuff? Not especially. On well, this will probably be the last visit to this place then. Yep. Let's leave. Let's leave the warehouse. Don't worry, I'm not gonna do it. All right, so. Loading. Day 52. Oh, look, the snow is gone. The cold days are actually over. And Kaveta is feeling better. Now that's the news, that's the kind of news we like. How are you doing? Just sick. No longer, like, severely. Catching some more food. Well, we survived the winter. Doesn't get more encouraging than that. Well, that means Aaron gets... Aaron? <laughs> Aaron. Yeah, right. After the war was over, he set up a Let's Play channel. And was terrible bad at video games. No, but... <clears throat> we'll, uh, we'll let uh, Marin indulge in his favorite pastime. That being uh, installing rainwater filters. Because we know... Uh, we all know he's missed that a lot this winter. Hmm. Now he's gonna install the filters, and then we're probably done with this day. And... Well, I don't know what else we can do. We could try to attack bandits, like the brothel is still kind of an, uh, kind of a thing. People who live there are terrible. But... I don't know, do we want to pick fights when the situation is this, uh, this good? It is still pretty cold though, so let's install a few more. Let's install. Let's, uh, throw some more fuel on the fire. The last thing we need is people getting ill when the winter's practically over.
Let's see here. Hungry, 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 and sick. Hmm. Doesn't look like anyone will be visiting the door. And there's not that much to do at night, so... Well, ladies and gentlemen, I get the feeling we're uh, very close to the end. Let's see... Marin and I will guard. Rest can sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. And stay. And that leads us into day 53. And uh, the end of this particular... Oh! Got raided, but... Didn't matter. And Caveta is feeling better. She's still sick, but that's alright. So, we're up to day 53. I'm thinking the last episode will be last. The next episode will probably be the last. Considering we're getting pretty close to, uh, to our finish line. I mean, the, the uh, expectation is that it'll end on day 60. And we've already gotten through the winter and the increased crime uh, period, so... No, it looks it looks like we're gonna pull through. Uh, still, I, I hope you'll tune in for the, uh, the next episode, which will probably be the finale of Aryan Place, This War of Mine. I uh, really appreciate it uh, if you've followed me all the way from episode 1 until now. We've had some tragedy, we've had some successes, many unnecessary risks. But it's uh, it's been a blast, so uh, thanks a lot for watching, thanks a lot for bearing with me through this, uh, this war of mine. So, see you in the next episode, and uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.